Hi ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to be installing a chimney cap on our chimney. So let's open up the box here and see what this thing looks like. Now let's go ahead and pull it on out of here. Ta-da! Let's see if there's any hardware in here. Oh yes, there is a little bag of screws. So let's go ahead and get this box out of the way to where we can take a look at this bad boy. Looks like it's uh, pretty simple. This is going to sit on top of our 12 inch uh, flue pipe. Uh, looks like there's a spot to put a screw on each corner. And here's the screws right here. So we're going to grab a couple tools here. And it looks like that's like got about a 3 8 head on it. I'm going to double check that to make sure. But we're going to grab some tools and head on up to the roof and get this baby installed. Okay, friends, hey, we're up here on the roof. Here's our little 12 inch uh, chimney right here that we're gonna put the cap on to. So let's go ahead and grab our chimney cap. And we're gonna stick it in place. Make sure it sits down there flush. Okay, looks like that's pretty good. Now, as I was telling you earlier, here's the tools that I brought up here. I brought my uh, cordless impact with a 3 8 socket on it that does fit those uh, screws and I also brought uh, my cordless drill with just a uh, 3 16 masonry bit because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do you run a screw here on each corner but what I want to do is just kind of pre-drill into that masonry just a little bit to just put an indentation into it to where when the screw hits it it's got like a little place to go inside there so I'm gonna go ahead on each corner and just pre-drill into that masonry about an eighth inch or so. Just enough to put a little divot into that masonry before I put these screws in. Okay, with the screws that come with the uh, chimney cap, we're gonna go ahead and use our um, cordless impact. And we're just gonna go ahead and run these in slightly. And we wanna get all four of them installed before we actually Put the final torque, make sure that it is pressed down good. Okay friends, we got all four of them kind of run in a little bit and we're just gonna come back on this side, add just a little torque on our last two here. And actually that's about it friends, that's all you need to do. Just grab the cap, make sure it's secure down on there good to where the wind can't blow. And this will help to keep any animals from getting down into your uh, chimney or leaves and other such debris. Thank you friends for watching a little video today and we will see you next time. Take care.